It is extremely easy to get ahead of your peers as a teen. Most young people go home, lying around, not doing anything to better their lifestyle. These peeps feel like school has drained all of their energy, and then when they get down, all they do is just hop on the game. What these people seek is short-term gratification, which basically means they're only enjoying things in the moment, not willing to put in work to enjoy the long-term gratification that awaits them. What's good, boys and girls? It's your boy, Brandon Nichols. Back at it again with some more game to be spat on how to make your life what you want it to be. Last video talked about the importance of morning routines, but today we're going to be generalizing on how to get ahead of your competition and be successful in whatever you want to do. I really, really, really love sharing my knowledge with kids my age, mostly because most kids I click with aren't really into leveling themselves up like I am. If you are someone who knows they have a bigger purpose in life than mopping up floors like McDonald's, which of course is fine to do because we all start from somewhere, then this channel and these videos are 100% made for you. You are already making the first steps for watching videos like these and expanding your knowledge. Alright, without further ado, I got a banger cooked up for you guys, so let's get right into this shit. So obviously for some of us, competition is what drives us to do as best as we can in anything. I want you to think of life as a competition and how every day, people your age are waking up ready to tackle the day while some hit the snooze button, continue to snooze until they're almost running late to get to school. They're starting their day off with low energy while others wake up to get a jump start ahead of these people and start the day off with good energy. Who do you think ends up more successful? The answer is pretty obvious and lays in the phrase, the early bird gets the worm. It's not that waking up early is all there is to it. Waking up early shows dedication that you want to accomplish as much as you can during the day. You're basically up and running, maybe working out or working on like an online project or something, while you know your potential competition is sleeping and not making any moves towards their future. Thinking about this is really motivating, especially for competitive people, because you're essentially understanding that people are sleeping right now, not doing anything, while you are up and getting ahead of them at that very moment. Now staying up later is also something you can do as kind of a substitute to waking up early. It's either one of those, but as long as you're waking up at a good time and or going to bed at a good time, if you're waking up early or staying up later. This is obviously because getting enough sleep is just as poor as anything else. You wanna make sure you're at the least getting six hours of sleep. If you like to work that much, then get, at least get six hours of sleep because sleep is very important, especially for teenagers. So basically the takeaway is spend more time on focusing on waking up earlier and or going to bed later to get ahead of your competition. Being able to manage your time is the second thing you can do to put yourself ahead of your competition. Time management is essential and making yourself successful in ways you might not imagine. Most teens don't follow any schedule except go to school, after school, play sports, and or have it like a job, and then go to bed or just go on TikTok or play video games all night. If you look at the top earners, the people who make the most money in the USA, all of them know what is not going to help them get to where they need to be. And in knowing that, they eliminate these things out of their schedule. These would be things like social media, video games, or basically just any other unnecessary things that they shouldn't be focusing on any time on. Being able to create a schedule for yourself and consistently sticking to it every day can provide structure and order into your life. That already puts you ahead of like literally about 95% of teens because how many teens do you know, including yourself, that actually has a schedule that you focus on every day that's written out that makes you as productive as possible. Basically, many teen schedules are made for them by their parents or what society tells them to be doing as a teenager. So yeah, the takeaway is essentially make your own schedule, something that will make you productive and getting things done. And this honestly will put you ahead of so many people because not too many people have a schedule that will make them as productive as possible. Most teenagers have no financial plan at all. If they have a job, once they get their money, all they do is spend it on snacks or other things that don't generate them any income but are simply liabilities. These things give them the short-term gratification when they should really be focusing on getting assets that will eventually provide them with long-term gratification. Taking control of your life financially at a young age and educating yourself is probably one of the best things you can do. Most kids our age aren't really focused on saving and investing their money because they really don't have any expenses to be taken care of. All these kids are doing is basically aimlessly spending their money and maybe, you know, every once in a while putting a few bucks here and there away. If you're wanting to get ahead of your competition, the easiest way and the best way to get ahead of them is financially. Start by writing out how much money is coming in and how much money is coming out about every month or every week. If you find that you're paying a lot of money for things that give you short term gratification that you could certainly live without, then eliminate these expenses immediately. 
You want to be getting as much money as you can, paying your needs, if any, like gas, and then invest that remaining money into your income. What I mean by investing into your income is invest your money into things that will make you more of it. I'm not talking stocks or cryptocurrency. I'm talking using that money to increase how much money is coming in each week and month. Use that money to build up different side hustles, which by the way, I'll be going over like a lot, a lot, a lot of different side hustles in this channel. There's definitely going to be one or two for you to start up. It's going to allow you to make more money to put into stocks eventually when the time comes. So yeah, like stocks and crypto are very, very good investments. I know that. But again, just wait to make a significant amount of money each week and month and then start putting a lot of money into stocks and crypto to start building your portfolio and you'll be set, like honestly. The last thing I'm gonna be talking about is taking care of your body, your personal hygiene. Basically just making sure you're a healthy mofo. I know most of you know kids at school who definitely look like they haven't showered in a while. And maybe that's because of reasons that are justified, but there's definitely some kids that have the option of putting deodorant or just taking care of themselves and they just choose to neglect doing that. Don't be this person. Make sure you prioritize hygiene, health, and just staying fit because there's so many benefits. There's things like brushing your teeth twice a day, using mouthwash, flossing, and just like taking a shower at least once a day. Like I said, part of taking care of your body is to no surprise working out which puts you ahead physically and mentally as well. Basically, just keeping your body in shape definitely puts you ahead of your competition because you're taking care of your body more than they probably are. One thing that I know lots of boys definitely, definitely don't do, and think mostly only girls do this stuff, which is gonna have to be a skincare routine. Having clear skin is something you should aim for because this levels you up physically by keeping your skin healthy and giving your face a natural glow. Eating healthy is also something you should be doing, such as cutting yourself off from eating unhealthy foods like all the time and, or like unhealthy drinks like pop and energy drinks is definitely one. Just basically anything that you shouldn't be putting in your body. Start putting fruits, vegetables, meat, protein, like have some snacks here and there. Just don't cut yourself off like a lot, but if you're eating a lot of junk food, definitely stop that. So yeah, basically in general, just take care of yourself physically so that you feel healthy and healthier because doing all of this to make your body physically healthier will make you mentally more healthier. Getting ahead of your competition as a teenager is one of the easiest things you can do. Most teenagers are not doing any of the things that I've just gone over, which are all easy to start and literally like most of them you can do right now, just start right now. Make sure though to always stay 10 toes down and stay focused on what you want to accomplish in your life. The best time to start is as soon as you possibly can, and especially when you're in high school. Most dudes don't start improving themselves until they're out of college. So basically putting some of these things in your life will put you like even ahead of adults. The takeaway from this vid is basically implement any healthy habits that you can, is implement smart and healthy behaviors into your life, which is 100% the key of getting ahead of your competition as a teenager. Like I said, it's not hard at all to do that. But as always, I hope you guys liked the video. Help a boy out and drop a like, comment and subscribe to help out with the algorithm and without further ado i'll see you in the next banger peace